Good morning, Antique and Garden Showcase friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm actually here in the booth today. I want to take you through and show you some of the new things that I've got in um, just recently and kind of redone the booth. The garden side of the display has increased quite a bit. I've got a neat wicker basket here. I've got two kind of magazine type holders. One's metal, one's wicker. There's a bird cage here. I guess it's a bird cage. It's a little hinge cage that would be pretty for any type of arrangement. It's $10. There's a cardinal shelf here. This is 15. And of course the booth right now is running 20% off now until May 17th, items 10.01 and above. And it excludes anything that's already marked down. But back to the side, I've got this neat, it's like a two tier bread box. It's got an open top on, an opening on the top here where you can put things in. And it also has a bottom down here as well. That's magnetic. So it'd be a neat storage piece for a countertop. That's at 65, of course, 20% off right now. There's some little wire garden shelves, this pretty candelabra, a wine rack, lots of pots, smaller ones left. The bigger ones have mostly all sold out. There are some great vases. If you're looking for great vases for your spring flowers and summer flowers, all sizes, all different types, everything from crystal to Jeanette, carnival to an etched cranberry to an italian murano style etched crystal uh, pressed glass and just some very large clear glass ones there as well all right on this side there's a neat hanging basket just needs a uh, cocoa liner or you can actually use burlap in there wrap it and fill that with dirt and it hangs it's got a little pretty hanger on the top little kids rocking chair still here neat new folding table there's some really good copper cookware here this is nice copper cookware it's got really good tinning on the inside everything's in good condition um, i did clean this whenever i got it in so it has been recently polished but it's just there's no finish put on it so it will naturally turn back you know to the copper patina uh, have nice heavy brass handles these have good weight this is a neat piece. It's a unique hinged fold flat buffet server. And the neat thing that it does is it all flips up and stores into a neat shell like piece. So if you're needing storage, there you go. It's a pretty decorative piece. And it's also a pretty functional piece as well. So this is a neat, neat, neat piece that I'm surprised is still here. Also for the garden, I've got this pair of really nice iron chairs. They're matching and they are $65 and of course 25% 20 off right now. Lots of things in the center, some really pretty lamps. This is Washington drape. I've got a cranberry hanging. I've got a three arm brass. I've got a matched pair, which it's hard to find a matched pair a lot of times with shades and bases there. Pretty purple mid-century tankard banana holder. This is Waterford with, with the pretty yellow summery dinner napkins in it for $20. Waterford Marquee. Over here we got lots of glassware. A lot of things still in this side. I did add a Duncan and Miller really pretty bowl. These are kind of hard to find. There's some really neat big paperweights. This Fenton candle holder is really neat. It's uh, one where you can put a single taper in the middle where you can get the small tapers and put around the sides and the, you know use it however you want to. Use it as a centerpiece bowl, but it's kind of a neat design. That piece is $20, and of course 20% off right now. Some more small vases, pretty cookie jar, compotes down here. On the picture wall, kind of just rearrange things. I've got nothing much new over there, but some really pretty. This is a hand-signed Mitchell Toll local artist. You can see the hand signature on top of the printed signature there. That is listed at $75. And this was given as a gift to a uh, professor at the local university, and it was signed by his office staff, who he had recently passed, and I picked this up at his estate. Really neat piece here. 
It is also 75. It's titled The Hunts Huntsman's Pet, 1908. I love that picture. I almost want to take that one home, put it in my office. I think it would look cool. Some neat nautical pieces down here. This table I haven't really finished setting up. I've just got a few random things on there. Neat table though, really pretty uh, drum table. It's got some nice wood craft to it, really pretty drawers. It has only one little tiny small piece of veneer missing on the back side, but other than that, it's pretty much perfect. Ethan Allen table and some lots of little benches down here available as well. Another new piece that come in today was this quilt. I picked this up. It's 63 long by 40 and a half wide, $18 only. Really pretty colors. I'm going to fold that out a little bit more. You can see some of the colors in that quilt. Really neat piece. Good price on that. These chairs are actually marked down to $85 for the pair. Universal Furniture Company. They are really neat Chippendale style chairs. They would look great in an entrance way or you know beside a table uh, breakfast table whatever a lot of people use mismatched chairs this pair would be great this upholstery is in beautiful condition it doesn't have any staining whatsoever on it also new to this side is just this box of little um, they're like little oriental rugs almost hand woven pieces I guess they could be used as coasters. I really don't know much about the history of these or whatever. They were bought at an auction where I, I bought a lot of Asian antiques. So kind of a neat bundle there. I've got the whole bundle, $15 for 10. So, you know, you get the whole box if you want those. Still have a few cookbooks left. And this bed to bench project is now marked down 50% off, okay? So 50% off of the 175. This is made by Davis Cabinet Company. It does have the signature on the back, the signature card, as you can see. If you wanted to turn this back into a full-size bed, all you would really need is a couple of long boards. Uh, when I bought this, it had one rail intact and the other one was destroyed. So, but all the hardware was there. So the original hardware is in here. All you'd have to do is get a, a board, stain it, and you'd have a full-size bed back or however you would want to do it. Or you could leave it as a bench. Well, I've put in a good solid hour here in the booth trying to straighten up, get things in, try to make it look a little better for the upcoming weekend. Um, you know, May is a brand new month starting off. We are doing 20% off until the middle of the month, May 17, off items 10, 01, or above, unless it's already marked down. So if you see anything in here and you live close by, come get it. Well, here are a few planting updates for you. I do have the planter boxes on the wall finished up and the Priscilla uh, Proven Winners. Those are really pretty. It's almost like a uh, double version of the, um, I can't think of it. Oh well, the purple one that's so popular. That's that same color. <laughs> oh, why can't I think of things today? But anyway, it's a neat double bloom. I like that. And then, of course, these we've seen. I've worked on the other urns up there, so I'll go talk about those in just a second. Still trying to figure out which cladiums I'm going to use in these pots, but I'm pretty sure I know which ones. I've just got to pull those. Those are left to do. I love this one with the white gara. That's really neat. And when that gets a little bit bigger, I think that's going to be really pretty. It's similar to the Acapulco Sun recipe that we've seen um, on Proven Winners. But I think that's going to turn out really neat. I love that bloom. Looks like a little butterfly. Let's go take a look at the other gardens and the other urns. The formal garden got a little bit of an update the other day. I got the, the uh, dead bushes replaced. This one's new. And this one over here is new. I also put in the new persimmon petunias in there, but I've got a huge flock of volunteer pansies just coming up everywhere. I didn't have the heart to take them out, so I just left them in there and placed the petunias in between. And, you know, once the pansies give it up, these will be there to take over. The planter in the middle, I've got the red heart's flame started. Just got that in there today. 
all the drip systems hooked up. That was quite a challenge this year, getting everything put in. I actually put in drip line around here so these boxwoods could get an extra drink. I think they need a little bit of help out here uh, during the summer months. So put a little boost in there for them. These urns, I'm keeping things very simple this year. Two plants per urn. Um, using the Tickle Me Pinks and the Dichondra Silver Falls. This is one that's familiar because it's one that uh, brought a lot of you to me from uh, Garden Answer. And this is the same recipe I used that was featured that year. Up on the front, that's clowning around. And I've underplanted it with just one sparkling rose verbena. So got those done the other day and got these finished up. All right. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now with the garden. I have weeded the driveway island and it's getting ready for planting. I'm going to be using the uh, vanilla marigolds in here and a bunch of the caladiums in here. I'll also be using cannas in the five pots there. I'm all thinking about maybe some ornamental grass. I've got lots of different things i got to look for in here. The daffodils are still, you know, trying to... Uh, gather up energy for the bulbs some of them are starting to brown out more than others and i did tie up a few so i could start doing some planting the verbena bonariensis it self seeds in here so i always dig up a few of these and move them more up to the top so i can get that height up in the middle of this so i've got to dig these out and, and plant them all across the top that way they're kind of in place and then if they get to be too much i pull out the extras but yeah, this one's got to be worked on and mulched, and that's one of my next tasks that I've got to get finished up. That about wraps it up for Antique and Garden Showcase this week. Thank you for coming along to the booth and checking out what's new in retail this week and also what's new in the garden. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Check out the webpage at www.antiqueandgardenshowcase.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Bye.